Hey there. Today we are going to be touring a nice snowy Glimmerbrook like mansion cottage that I made. Um, I we're going to spend a little bit of time on the outside, but if you want to skip forward, I'll go ahead and put timestamps in there for you in order to just bypass the outside door. But from the outside, I really wanted to stay true to like a nice, like dark, um, it's not a spellcaster house, but it is in Glimmerbrook and a spellcaster could live there, but I didn't like use a bunch of the pack. Um, I might not have used any glimmer you know i probably did, did use glimmer brook somewhere but um i really wanted because a lot of my other cabins have been like light in nature and i still wanted that light wood and i wanted it to be light inside but from the outside i was really intrigued with this contrast of having this light natural wood and like a dark wall so that's what i went ahead and i did here and um, as with a lot of other builds that I've been doing, I'm not quite sure of the order that I'm going to post these in, but um, I have these custom content organic windows um, that are really within the roof line. These like nice triangle windows that I have been obsessed with and I've been using them in all of my builds, but the ones that I can't do them in, like, <laughs> like the apartments. Um, so I've really just been loving those and I've been... Um, overusing them but this is a nice three-story build and um, I wanted to make it really like 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 I wanted to give it an air of mysteriousness um, and that's why I decided to go with that darkness and I kind of wanted it to like blend in to the trees like you just kind of like walk in and you find it you find this big um, pretty dark and light um, cottage mansion and I know on the side here this like big huge like round like arched picture window kind of is a little bit off and I thought so too but I really like the way it looked from the inside so it's fine but yeah now let's go inside when we go inside as you can see I picked a lot of lightness and a lot of neutral um, tones in here and um, the first area that we'll see is this nice, like, sitting area. I guess you can just chat here. It's not the living room. The living room is on the opposite side of this room. But you can just um, sit here. You can read a book. You can go ahead and um, take off your shoes. You can, um, there's some storage up here at the top. And I really wanted to, um, I'm, I mean, there's some color in the plants. Um, I got the um, plant kit not saying you need to get it. I just used it and since I bought it, I want to go ahead and use it wherever I can because I really like using plants. And that's one of my favorite ways of adding color. But um, I really wanted to play with um, doing interesting things with levels um, rather than doing things with like um, big like crazy pictures and like contrasting colors and things like that i mean there is like some color in here but it's pretty neutral overall in this build the use of color i wanted to make things look light but interesting and lived in and cozy um this isn't the greatest area for that um the living room will look much more there we go see there's much more stuff here there's much more stuff but like we have a very similar color palette throughout and here we have a little trunk for storage you can sit there take off your boots hang up your jacket whatnot there's a little bit of storage on top of the shelf there we have your music and then we have the living room here and the living room is this very nice little nook i really like the way it turned out and that is one of the reasons why we couldn't have like an even like um picture window on top of picture window because then we couldn't have the tv and fireplace combo here and um, I really like this, I think, believe this is custom content, this like leaning like ladder shelf thing. But I really like the way it turned out. And again, we aren't using crazy colors here. Really the main colors that we're going to see are little like pops from the plants here. And um, I wanted to, again, play more with texture, um, having like different levels of things and then um, pattern. 
And I mean, we have a little bit of color in the carpet with like a little bit of orange, but it's really like a neutral orange. And um, I really wanted to make the, the place feel very like um, lived in. And over here, you're um, going to see a window that I have between the kitchen and the um, living room, which is not something that I would probably do in an actual house. But I really liked the way that it filled up the space. And I like the carryover because the kitchen's very bright. Um, that it had like of the light coming in from the kitchen into the living room because the living room is fairly dark but would I mean that's fine because it's mostly like for watching movies and like just chatting by the fireplace and things like that but um I liked the way that it looked so I just I did it um and then we have a wall of shelves here we mostly just have plants and then I really wanted um again to like fill up the space with like visually interesting like structures but not necessarily colors so I want that natural wood but like an open interesting looking staircase right in the center to fill up the space we just have a little shelf here by the door and we have a big door leading outside but first we're going to go in the kitchen and the kitchen again I went with these neutral tones but with patterns on the um, tile floor here and um, I mean we have a little bit of pops of color like with the um, picture right here and I, I was on the fence about it. I wish that the wood on here was like a more neutral tone. I'm fine with the red though because it kind of ties in with all of those like little, um, the little plants right here. Um, like the plants on the little shelf by the window. So I was okay with that. And, um, again, um, playing with height was one of the, um, goals that I had here. And normally you would get a really nice, um, view, but it is snowy. I was fine with that for the tour, but just imagine during the summer, this is like a very nice, um, pretty looking, um, view here, um, from the windows. And I really like the, um, gifted, um, aprons that we were given here and, um, how it really fills with that neutral color palette that I'm going for in this house. And but we still get like the texture or the pattern, I mean, well, the texture and pattern. And I've been loving this like hanging fern that we have here because it adds more dimension and depth and like height difference and interest to a space. So yeah, I really, um, and sorry, like I, there are going to be rooms where I have to like, um, distort the perspective in order for you to get the full shot because I just want you to see, um, how the color story all ties in and the texture story and the height levels um, all tie in, um, and some of the spaces are a little bit tight, so you can't see unless you do that, but yeah, this is one of my favorite, um, oh, I think there was a little earthquake, oh, never mind, my cat just shook her head, anyways, um, yeah, I really, um, just like, um, the way that the windows here, because this is a corner room, um, the way that they wrap around and just bring the light in during the day. But also I really like the way that the um, lights look in this particular build. So that's why I decided to film this at night. And as you can see from like the store, there's so much visual interest like going on. It almost looks like a labyrinth. And that was kind of the, um, the vibe that I was going for, which is really good if you're um, to go with a natural, neutral, natural palette, <laughs> if you're going to do that. And then the bathroom, it's just very tiny, but I really, really like it. I did have a pop of red on the carpet. I did kind of have a like, very slight pops of red in the um, kitchen, as I mentioned. So I kind of just went through with that in here too. I have a bathroom upstairs that is my favorite one. And um, that one's a very natural palette. So I'm really excited to get to that. But um, yeah, I went for like the pop of red on the ground. And I went for the nice green um, plant kit, like um, propagated plant fixture on the wall. Um, but I didn't do a whole lot, like, in the way of pictures. I'm more so going for using the windows and, um, the, because uh, a lot of the pictures in here aren't going to fit the color palette that I've mentioned, and they're just going to, like, distract from, like, the visual interest that I've given, um, from the, like, natural wood items that I've used to fill up the space. But now we're going into the I, I don't know if, the, I can't decide. I originally made this making, thinking this was going to be the main bedroom, 
but I'm not quite sure now. Like, um, it is really nice, and I love the windows, and it's a really, it's a good space, and I really do like it. Um, but there's a really cool upstairs bedroom that has an ensuite bathroom, but I almost kind of feel like that's like a, like a, like, ultimate, like, teen bedroom, so I'm not quite sure. I, I'm on the fence of which is the main bedroom, but this might be the main bedroom. And, um, in here, I kind of have two different color stories. Um, in this, like, the sleeping area, I decided to ground it and try and, like, fill up the space and make it feel like a very, there were different levels. There's, um, a, this is darker. The space is darker in here to, like, really make it feel, like, very woodsy. And, um... I, cause I do like, I, I still stand by like having like the neutral, natural woods, um, in the living room, but this space I was okay with making it look as though it was filled up by having like the dark night stands and having the dark wood on the bed. Um, the wood along the walls, like, the, um, the, like where the bed is set up against, that is actually light wood, um, to match the windows and I'm okay with that, but, um. I just really wanted to fill the space and make it feel like you were, like, in a, this natural little nook. And the only thing that I probably would change is that I would probably, if I could change the bed, I probably would not have the square cut out because that kind of doesn't fit the vibe. We are going for more, like, rounded organic shapes, and that's a little bit more modern than I would want, but I really do like that the, um... The top blanket is knitted and I feel like that really fits in and I love this like super long draping plant right by the bed and from the other side um, of the room we have this little sitting area and like um, almost like a living like dressing area and I decided to make that lighter I felt like that fit the bill of that area like we have like a sleeping area in one side and like a living hangout area in the other one so like one's a more sleepy grounded area and one's a more light and lively area in there and um, I love this custom content mirror that I use too much <laughs> same with the um, dresser I, I use it all the time and I use the bed a lot too but as you can see here we have really really excellent views I mean you can't actually see the views but imagine we have all of these windows so they're bound to be great views and um, this would be a freezing slash hot room um in practice but we're not gonna worry about that and um again we're cutting off the, um the dark side so you don't have to see them together this area by itself you can see how light it is and how it just makes you feel like awake and like it's like a fresh a breath of fresh air whereas the other one just kind of feels like one you want to nestle into and, um, that's why, like, the sitting area here, there's nothing over top, like, you don't, like, you're not constricted by anything, you're not, like, nestled in. It's an area where you can move around and feel more lively, even though it is, like, a little bit narrow, I tried to, you know, keep the space as open as possible. But, now we are going to go outside, and there's not a whole lot going on on the porch here, um, we just have a little eating area, yeah more and more natural um use like colors here this isn't really about gardening we just have two areas to probably plant trees there's actually a big tree right here that didn't show up um but we have another eating area we have a lot of seating out here because i didn't really know what to do out here um to be completely honest um i i'm not great with landscaping but um we have a little like um platform lifted area where we can sit we can sunbathe when it's not freezing and snowy at night time we have a pool um use natural rock in there and then we have chickens we got three hens one rooster very good and now that we have viewed this little cute outdoor area we can go ahead and go upstairs and i really like the main room that you guys are gonna see very cute, but I also, I, uh, I just, I like how interesting every, the, everything looks for every angle, um, in this house, and you can really see that when you move through it. Okay, here 
is the room that we go up to the um, second floor to. And as you can see, there's going to be a third floor. Um, it's pretty cool up there. But, um, going back to the second floor, I really, um, I have to distort the view because it's kind of tight um, throughout the whole, like pretty much the rest of the house at this point. But um, I usually open the second floor to a study. That's just the floor plan that I really, really like if I can like help it. Um, it just makes sense to me, but, um, yeah, that's basically what we did. Um, I, there aren't as many windows, obviously, like, surrounding the places downstairs, because a lot of the windows are being taken up by bedrooms and bathrooms here, but we have this cute little study area, and again, I loved playing with height. I really love these custom content, like, beams that I was able to put against the wall. It, I know it looks gradient here, but really they're supposed to be the same color. It just has to do the fact with the fact that they're separately placed. But um, I think that they look really nice. And um, again, I have like just the slightest pop of color with the red, but it's not like a neon red. It tends more towards like being a neutral red and we have some green. And on the opposite side, we do have a cute um, rug too that like ties in. It makes this place feel cozy, and I'm okay with grounding this place a bit. And also, I wanted to tie into the um, red bookshelves here in order to make it um, make sense. So that's why a lot of the pops are red, so it didn't feel like that was out of place. Like, I wanted to, like, spread it around the room so it felt like it was intentional and not just because that swatch has red books, basically. But I was really happy that I was able to get these floor-to-ceiling um, light swatched um, bookshelves because that really, it would have been a little bit, I, I didn't want them, the bookshelves to be the same height as the fireplace. That wouldn't have um, been what I was going for. I like to make things look um, as though they are more like, I don't know, like, random, I guess is the right word, um, so it doesn't look, like, too perfect, and now we have, um, what I would imagine to be, like, twin kids' room, like, they're both, like, children, not toddlers, even though the bathroom does have toddlers in mind, so, but yeah, we have this cute playing area, a bunk bed here, um, we have two shelves, one for each of the kids, a cute tent and behind the zebra here which is custom content but i love it so much there's actually a toy chest too so they have plenty of toys to play with and um yeah i really like it i like um the cozy little nook we have and i like the string lights and it just um it's pretty tight but i feel like there's definitely room to move around and um i like the way it all came together and how i was able to really make use out of all of this space and I feel like a kid would really enjoy living in this room and um yeah I yeah there's um the closet area I actually really like the way that turned out with the lights um with the, like pink lights on the like the dressers um but yeah there's like two separate um closets like one half is for one of the kids and one half is for the other and um, again, I put these like stacked up boxes here on top of one side to make it a little bit asymmetrical so it wasn't like 100% perfect um, because that just, um, I don't know, that just like makes it feel a little more real. But the violin that was there, forget about that, that's going to go in someone's inventory even though the color does match. But here we have my favorite bathroom of the house. I really like it. It's all neutral except for like the teeniest bit of green in the wall installment on um, the plant installment on the wall but I really like it it's all about texture and pattern and height differences and that is really what I was playing with a lot in this house and um, just everything feels so organic and not overdone and we're just like playing with like the zero space and things and how things aren't super blocky and like we have exposed like legs on the sink and exposed legs on the bathtub and things like that we're gonna go for a different vibe in the bedroom here um this one is much darker all throughout the walls are light yes but like a lot of the fixtures are going to be darker and this one is the one i debated whether or not it was going to be the main um bedroom or not because it is bigger and it has an ensuite bathroom however i feel like it's much more suited for what i created to be like a teen dream bedroom and um like a more like 
moody teenager, um, not like, a, like posters all over the wall, um, teen bedroom. Um, and it makes sense because, um, they probably are trying to discover their own style and that might not match the style of the person who owns the house. So that is why they have gone with a darker theme. Like, it's not as if they don't appreciate the, um, gorgeous architecture of the house. They are just, they want, they want it to be more grounded and, like, just, um, maybe more serious. I don't know, um, the right word to use for that. But, um, yeah, we still have, like, the difference in texture, and we're playing with, like, a ladder, um, shelf here to kind of complement the little staircase, and, um, we have the nice, um, beams all over the place here. We have a cute closet area, and we have a little desk, and I really, really like this, like, loft area that you're about to see. Pretend like it has a roof, please. <laughs> I know it doesn't have one, and we- it's fine we're gonna pretend like it's there, okay? Um, but yeah, we have this, like, it's a little TV area, there's a lot of, um, light coming in. Realistically, you know, you'd want curtains so you aren't, like, being blinded when you're watching TV, but it's just not as pretty in The Sims, so we didn't have them, um, in my opinion, at least. Um, and it takes away from the naturalness of the windows, but yeah, we have a little TV, and then we have the desk area and we can like kind of look out at the room and like see all the differences and shapes and everything and even though we do have a lot more dark items it isn't um distracting and making it too chaotic um and in here again we went with different fixtures um different color palette i went with a bunch of more dark pa like color scheme in here against the um light main house because that part would stay true to the house and realistically i know that the teen wouldn't like get their own like special colored like bathtub and shower and like sink and um toilet but um it's just it's just good fun for the sims to like play with the differences and the color and like let it um go ahead and um kind of let the color story flow from the bedroom onto the bathroom so that's that's what i did and I'm happy with it. It's not realistic, but, like, this is all about, like, fantasy and not necessarily, like, there is some cohesion, but there's also some individuality in this, like, little, um, sector of the house. And I like the way it turned out. So, I think it's fine. And now we're going to head up to the attic. It's really cool up here. The first room you get into isn't that cool, but there's a, a cool room. Okay, so this room is pretty blank. We just have a nice fireplace up here. There's a whole lot of light, though, going up on in here. We just have a little storage bin here. So yeah, we have a lot of light going on up here. A lot of really cool light. But if you go through this door, we have two doors, so you can go through either of them. But um, yeah, we have the fireplace, so you could decorate up here at some point, but we have a nice sleeping area with just a bunch of, like, cool different leveled, um, windows, which I really like, and it gets really, and I have the light floor with, the, um, dark walls, and I decided to go with a light bed in order to really, um, not weigh down this tight space. I really wanted to make sure that it was, like, the bed was able to like flow into the ground so we weren't making it too claustrophobic in this area and that's why we have a lot of light fixtures and on this side as you can see we have a fireplace and a bathroom the toilet is tucked away in a closet you can't see super well from right here but we will get up close so you can like see where the little door is but, um because obviously there's no separation um between like the bedroom and the bathroom but like the toilet needed to be tucked away but I still thought it was kind of cute to, um, have the bath be, like, in the same, like, space as the, um, like, bed. I don't know. It was just an idea. Probably weird in practice, but cool, like, in theory. And yeah, that is my big, like, mixture of, like, the dark and the light. Um, nice, like, cottage mansion in Glimmerbook on a snowy day house tour. I want to thank you guys for joining me for this tour and I hope you have a good night.